Today we're going to talk about the Lamello Zeta and the unique fittings that are available to go with this system, the P system, including the Lamello Clamex system, the Tenzo, and also the Davario. My name's Anthony and I'm part of the Axminster Business Services team and I spend much of my time out with customers, end users, demonstrating the equipment and showing them how the features and benefits of the Lamello, Clamex and Zeta system. Um, most customers will find a huge amount of time saved in their productivity and then in turn profitability. Uh, we, so the system is very fast to use and gives customers excellent results each time. So I'm going to go through the, the basic joints that we've got. I'm going to start with doing a quick assembly on these two pieces of timber and I'll talk you through the process as we go. One of the main unique feature with using the Lamello Zeta is the profile tooth blade that we have for it and the fact that this blade actually moves up and down within the machine creating a perfect slot to put the fitting, uh, one of the fittings into. These are also a glass reinforced fibre fitting which makes them very strong and very uh, durable as well. So let's make some cuts. With the machine itself, So, we've made four cuts, two into the back of the timber, two into the face of the timber. And we've got our unique profile in the back here where we are slot cut to take our fittings. Often I find when I'm working with customers uh, that quite often there'll be scenarios where they're assembling furniture in their workshops and they need to either send it out flat pack or take it out to site again and reassemble it. This has proved to be a real bugbear with people when they, can't, uh, when they end up damaging their timbers and boards but by using the female part of the fitting into the face of our timber, if they do end up rubbing together, they're easier to stack and we're not going to end up with damaged faces on there. Customers really like that. Each fitting sits 0.5 of a millimetre below the surface, so it does mean when you clamp it together, you're not only pulling your material, but you're pulling the fitting together as well. We are going to need a couple of small holes in here to enable us to insert the fitting and join it together using our Allen key and the cam lock mechanism on here as well. Very quickly and easily achieved as well using our drill jig that comes with the machine as standard. Once we picked what face that we wanted it to go onto, we just drop that into place and that also locks in and holds in place as well. Taking a drill through the guide bush, then we can very quickly drill through. That's the first one. Simply reposition, slot into place again and we can drill our second hole. Quick and easy. When we take that away, just going to check for any swarf in here, particularly with man-made boards, you can get a bit of swarf build up. And then taking our fitting again, we slide into place. There are no screws, no glues required for these, which makes it a free floating fitting, which of course gives us some adjustment in here. It's very strong and load bearing. And then to join our two pieces of timber together, Simply locate one on top of the other there, and then with a quarter turn of the Allen key, we now lock our two pieces in together, giving us a nice, smooth, clean finish. Could be done on the mitre joint as well, and then when we look from the inside, we've got no holes. We do have a couple on the outside, but of course, depending where you position that on your furniture, you can actually lose that within the eye line, or use some cover caps, which we can also supply as well. So alongside that, that's a great fitting for uh, furniture that needs to be taken apart again and um, products along those lines. If you're also looking then to glue up uh, and clamp, and we all know you've never got enough clamps left in your workshop, particularly when you've got a batch production of things to do. Again, another common problem that we come across when visiting customers. By using the, the Tenzo fitting, we can overcome that. This is a self-clamping fitting, uh, which will pull together uh, whilst your glue joint dries along the line. 
This is the Tenzo preload version, which is now the common standard one. Similar process, we're cutting the same holes, and all we're doing this time is just inserting some little clips in here, and we miss out the drilling of the hole in the back. This allows us then to insert the two pieces very close together with our glue line in place. We can make sure we've got a close position and then before finally snapping them together, like so. Glue line will be squeezed up and then that is then assembled. No need for clamping, ideal for difficult joints, repetitive work, uh, giving you a strong, accurate location. That's as simple as that. And finally, we have the Lamello Devario fitting, which is used for fitting shelves into carcass furniture. This is also a two-piece construction using two parts of the fitting, a male and a female again, and a groove cut, also using the Zeta machine. And then as you slide the two components together, they lock in place, pulling your carcass of the furniture together, giving you an invisible fitting for your shelf as well. Thanks for taking the time to watch. If you want to see this system demonstrated in your workshop, then please get in contact with the Business Services team and we'll be around to demonstrate.